the courage to give this lesson. Members are encouraged to give this lesson to other groups. Plan an Oregon themed celebration, second, such as Recognition Day. And if you are the leader giving this lesson, you can use the document, which we have a printed copy, as a starting point for your discovery. You may enhance the lesson with further research, maps, pictures, books, testing new recipes, which be an additional educational benefit to your presentation. But no matter what your mode of transportation, being by covered wagon pulled by oxen or mules, or traveling in this beautiful flower child painted minivan, or leave home by a jet plane. Pack your bags, set your GPS to Oregon to attend the National Conference, July 14 to July 17, 2022. We will be going to the Monarch Hotel and Convention Center. You may access the national website for more information for registration and a map and other fun facts. As a leader, you can also do this part of the presentation as a trivia game. So, the state capital, Salem. State nickname, the Beaver State. The state of Kansas also has a Western Meadowlark as their state bird. And there are several other states that use this bird as their insignia. In Kansas, we don't, I don't think we have one, but the crustacean is the dangerous crab. <gasps> Look who is there. Fishing. The state fish is the Chinook salmon. It averages about 30 to 40 pounds, but can get as big as 120 pounds. It's also called the black or the king salmon. The native people learn to uh, fish it and then dry it. By having it as a dry product, they're able to store and use it during the winter. Thus, they were able to establish permanent residence and use it as a trading product for other areas of Oregon. Other state insignias, everyone's favorite, milk, Douglas fir, great for Christmas trees, a pear, and hazelnut. And these are also featured in the members handout as recipes. Tangy pear and blue cheese salad, hazelnut special bread, and my all time favorite would be um, having hazelnut spread on pancakes or bread with a banana. The biggest and the best. The highest peak. 
childhood. The deepest gorge, which is also the deepest in Oregon and North America. Hell's Canyon. The deepest lake, which is also deepest lake of Oregon and North America. Crater Lake. I don't like to swim anything that I can't see the bottom. And I don't swim in the deep end. So this would be really challenging. The largest city will be host of our con convention, Portland. The seal of Kansas represents many things about Oregon. You have the covered wagon, how the settlers came to, um, to Oregon. The ships of various countries that came to explore. The eagle and the stars represent the United States. Oregon's flag is the only flag of the Union that has two sides with two different images. The first shows the seal and the second, their nickname, the Beaver State. And their state quarter has the image of Crater Lake. Their first people to arrive in North American continent came around 16,000 BCE. BCE stands for Before Common or Current Era. They migrated across the uh, frozen uh, glaciers between Russia and Alaska, then migrated down to the Oregon Territory, and that was about 2500 BCE. The horses were brought over with the Spanish. The Spanish were settled south of Oregon and in the uh, 1680s. Um, they, my, the horses that were ran free or got loose or turned loose finally migrated to the Northwest area in the 1720s. With the advent of the discovery of how to ride and train and use, utilize the horse, the Native Americans, this opened up a world of being able to trade with her, further distance. And um, if you had a horse and you can conquer more land and other people. The Spanish did set sail to the Northwest area, but did not find anything worthy. I guess they were just looking for gold. So they left it, but not until the British Sir Francis Drake sailed into the area and claimed the territory north of Spanish California, all the way north for the British. In the late 1700s, China was paying top dollar for the Ottawa otter fur pelt. Thus starts the trade of European American traders coming to the Oregon Territory to harvest um, the pelts. And otters were almost harvested to extension. Um, once they were low on otter. They developed trade with beaver and other fur animal. We bought the Louisiana Territory in 1803. President Jefferson wanted to know what resources we had available. So he sent out two explorers, Lewis and Clark. They called this the core of discovery. 
He also wanted to know if the Missouri River could go all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Well, it didn't, but after finding other areas, rivers, they did make it to the Pacific coast. Learning about all the resources, the natural resources of trees, fertile land, and fur trading, this had people wanting to go west. Manifest destiny. They thought it was God's will that United States would then become a nation from sea, from shining sea. They made a six month track starting in the Missouri area and reached the Oregon country. Uh, Interstates 80, 29, 80, and 84 follow just about what the Oregon Trail is. So hopefully our trek is not gonna take six months, just a few hours by air. The presidential campaign of James Polk was the slogan, 54 or 40 or fight. He was hoping to have the border between Canada and British at the 5440 line, but there was a treaty and they made it at the 49th parallel. So officially, Oregon became a territory in 1846. From the 1840s to the 1850s, most Oregons were against slavery, especially those people that were the small farmers. The large farms had slaves for their labor. They could produce more. Small farmers thought this was not fair. So they were wanting to have Oregon or keep slavery out. But with the Dred Scott case of 1857, it wouldn't permit slavery in the US territories. They couldn't stop that. So Oregon, in order to keep the slavery out, petitioned and was accepted as the 33rd state on February 14th, 1859. And they sided with the union. Even though Oregon was on the union side, the Civil War was far away. Top revenue agricultural products will be greenhouse and nursery products, livestock, dairy products, pears, Marion berry, apples, hazelnuts, the timber, and tuna, crab, salmon, shrimp, and welting. Some of the recipes that are highlighted uh, would include the Oregon Marion berry pie. Um, Marion berries are cousins to the blackberry. It's the two separate species, but of the same genus. And this was, um, Marion berries were developed in 1948. Famous people from Oregon, a president, this is she. an inventor. How many people have grandchildren playing with an erector set? Creator of the duck bird, home of Donald Duck. Do you remember Bugs Bunny? How many read the books? of uh, Beverly Clary. She passed away this past year and the streets in her books are fictional streets in Portland. And if it wasn't for this person, we would not be doing this Zoom meeting. Father of the internet. Cartoonist of the Simpsons. 
and my, I love to watch the NBC show. And Curry is still the uh, a journalist from there. While we are in Portland, well, there are places we can go to. I love lavender, but boy, picturesque of uh, this, the lavender uh, farms near Mount Hood. City of Tilmec is in the very northeast, northwest corner of Oregon. Um, they became quite known for their dairy products because of the climate and the rich soils for raising dairy cattle. They have the Tullamac Cheese Factory. And Tullamac Cheese in Kansas is available at our Dillon's or Kroger grocery stores. In the member handout is a recipe for cheese biscuits. During the county fair, you can attend the Pigs and Fords races. These are Model T Fords that they race, pick up the pig, put it on the truck with them and race the track and then have to bring the pig back safely, put it back in the pen. Who does cooking? Especially products from Bob's Red Mill. We also have found the products available in Kansas at our Dillon's uh, grocery store is a Kroger brand, also maybe Walmart. Another place to visit is uh, going to his store. How many are librarians, educators, or book readers? This place would be a great place to go. Acres and acres and thousands of books. Can't you just get lost in there? Never want to come out. You'll be exploring the world just by your reading. My favorite place I would like to go to would be the International Rose Test Gardens. I think I have a green thumb. My plants, my roses are surviving. This is a place my grandchildren would love to go to. Grandson loves bacon. This will probably be his favorite to get. But there's also a lot of other creative confectionaries. <coughs> FCE headquarters. And if you blink, you will miss this park. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Bye. So thank you very you much. Bye. Thanks to Bonnie and Scott for all their help. Of when I was preparing and writing this lesson, I sent it off to Bonnie and Scott for them to review. And thank you for the Oregon Association for Community and Education. Please attend the national conference. With the beaver on one side. Okay, so, okay, thank you very much. Um, I thought I had that, so you're spotlighting you there. Uh, anybody got any questions for Kay? I mean, Faye? Very good lesson, Kay, thank you. It was uh, a great and I, lesson. And I'd like to welcome Artist Snyder, our national president. She made it here today. She snuck in while the presentation was going on. The one thing you need to make sure it's Dungeness Crub. So thank you. <laughs> and it's famous out here. 
Yeah, and Tillamook, but you know, it's it's it, we that professional video that we had for uh, on the presentation I had even call it the Will 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 a many river, but anyway. <laughs> You we have to laugh. remember, you just remember it's the Willamette Damn It. <laughs> <laughs> Faye, yeah. are you are you sending this presentation to Judy at headquarters so that she can mail send it out to anyone by email that wants it? Um, I would like to try to do that, but Scott is recording it, so it will be put up on YouTube. Except that you mentioned recipes and things like that. Those won't be on there, probably. Okay. I have mailed to Scott the um, hard copy of the lesson that we printed out for Kansas. It includes a leader's guide. as four pages. And then a four-page member handout with the recipes. Okay. Uh, Scott. The recipes include tangy pear, pear and blue cheese salad. Lemon, rosemary, salmon, Oregon salmon patties, easy cheddar cheese biscuits. Oh, thank you, Scott. Dinner tonight. <laughs> Coming over. Oh. Are those showing up there? Yes, yes. they are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, what is the name of the town where the conference is? Well, we call it Portland, but it's actually. Uh, the, it'll be in Clackamas, but you'll fly into Portland. It's all one big area. Scott, can you forward that um, email to Judy so that anyone that wants it can request it from her? Yes, I can. And it's got the leader's guide also. Yes, that would be perfect for anybody that wants to have that because we'll mention it in the flash for that they may want to check this out. Um, so that they can plan their trip to Oregon when it comes closer to time for conference. And I could also put it on the website if you wanted it. That would be good. In with the conference things, that would be great. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, and we'll just mention that then and so that they can, they can print it off from there then. Okay. And if anyone does make this as a presentation or read it, would they email me so I can know um, how many FCE members have been contacted, how many non-FCE members and the hours of volunteering for our uh, reports, for state report that we send off to national? That sounds good, Faye. We will make a note of that too. Okay. Can you send an email just for the recipes so that we can print them off? Yes, we will send the, okay. the, the document to national. And Scott's going to put it on the website too, so they can even print them off of their face. So, okay. Scott, what thing did I cover that you did not have prior knowledge to? Oh, we, we were just talking about that. You know, we're actually holding our FCE study group meeting right here. And I'm, I'm, I, I'm learning new technology today. I'm, I'm casting it to my TV so everybody can see it on the TV. But I don't know what were some of the things. The flag, uh, one of our members I uh, didn't realize the flag had two sides, and she's a native Oregonian. <laughs> oh, I guess she's not. Oh, that's right. Anyway, I guess she's not. But anyway, so we didn't know that. And I didn't know some of the things on some of the other things, like uh, the, the crab. I didn't, I, I, even though I've caught a lot of those crabs and ate them, and they are really good. I mean, actually, they're terrible. You don't want to come to Oregon and get it, you know. <laughs> Did you know you were famous, Scott? You were on on the slideshow. Yeah, I saw that, but I didn't get, I didn't catch that fish. <laughs> you usually so. catch trout. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're 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 the same family though. But good eating. Yes, they are. Matter of fact, I, I have to go fishing tomorrow. I'm taking uh, grandpa and some grandkids tomorrow. Ah. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, I have to. Gonna say so, you uh, have to. Right. Any other questions? Yeah, I have a a comment. Um, this is Anne. Um, the Marion Berry, I believe, was um, developed at Oregon State. Um, is that correct? Yes, that it is. is. That is correct. Um, it was developed correct. at Oregon State, and Oregon State is in Marion County. And it's a combination of a Nolala berry and a blackberry. Is so. State and I go, I go with her group. So a lot of these things were facts I knew, but you did a good job getting it all put together. I did put some uh, uh, information about the blackberry and the Merriam berry on um, the recipes. Because we did yeah. apparently that berry is has a limited production and harvesting, and it's so in such great demand. Just in the state of Oregon, they don't get it out to other states to be made available to them. But um, for I'm cooking sorry. anywhere else, a blackberry would work just as well. Yeah, we're kind of stingy that way. <laughs> Sorry, but it was kind of funny when when Washington D.C.'s um, mayor's name was Marion Barry. Do you remember that? Oh. We, all, we huh? all laughed about it, but um, any tourists that I go with and are from that area, they all bought jars of jam every time we stopped at a berry place on the way to the coast. They all had to get Marion Berry jam. Yeah. Marion Berry ice cream is very, very popular. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing with this lesson. If you have more information or do more research, you can add more to the presentation. Make it your own. I believe Oregon State College is in Benton County, isn't it? No. no. <laughs> no. Marion County. Are you sure? I'm thinking it's Benton. <laughs> yeah, I, think it's, I think Corvallis, which Benton. is where Oregon Otherwise, State is. Otherwise, they'd be in our district. <laughs> I think they're in. I think they're in Benton County. Yeah. But it was developed in Marion County at the, at the extension services there or something. And that's where it got its name from, is my understanding. Oh, okay. I think. Well, Benton Berry would just sound not as great. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but this I'm the this. youngest here. <laughs> I'm 20 years old. How do you do? Hi. Uh, I'm gonna go sit down now because they want me to. Okay. <laughs> she might be the youngest, but she's not 20. <laughs> yeah. We'd be we'd be we would be contributing to the delinquency of a minor. <laughs> Well, if anybody else has got any comments or questions of Faye, I really, really thank yeah. Faye for doing this. Uh, I was welcome. excited. I wanted her to do it a long time ago and artists ask us not to until now. So anyway, we're doing good there. And, and I would like to invite everybody to Oregon National Conference in 2022. And the dates are on there. It's on the national website. Um, and hopefully things are somewhat back to normal. Uh, we're all struggling with this thing here. And again, I'm always looking for someone to teach. And as many people can testify, 
Uh, I think, I don't know if, uh, if Lavonda is still on here or not, and others that have taught, Ann's taught, and now Faye's taught. It doesn't matter where you live. I take care of everything except the teaching. Oh, she is on here. I see her now. I don't see her face, but I see her picture. I, know, I can't get my face up there, so that's okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Faye? Yeah. Oh, I, have one, I have one more thing. Uh, Faye, you, you need to add a picture of Multnomah Falls. Multnomah Falls. Multnomah is also the... Um, where Portland, you know, that's the county Portland's in. But Multnomah Falls is one of the, it's our largest uh, falls and it is uh, one of the number one uh, attractions. And it is not, it's within a, what, 45 minutes of the hotel in the, in the gorge. The gorge okay. is where the Columbia River comes through. But you should be able to find spectacular pictures. Yes, I, I uh, was able to do a lot of inserting and getting pictures for that. So yes, I can make it a slide, another slide with that. But we have to remember, well, Mo yeah. Falls, we have to have a reservation or something to get there to be able to park and, or else take a bus. <laughs> So I'm going to interject right here just a little bit. One of the um, main tours that artists and I are working on is the train ride up through the gorge. And it will be basically like an all day tour. Um, they have murder mysteries, they have um, Western shootouts. And that's, that's one of the, the tours that we're working on. It, it will be probably the main tour that will be the day before conference actually starts so and it will go up where there will be a stop at Multnomah Falls and then um I think there's a box lunch also that we'll have that we'll go to one of the places for a box lunch so keep watching for details because that's what we're working on right now I did see somewhere advertised is the Lewis and Clark a river boat cruise up the river stopping at various places where Lewis and Clark might have stopped or camped or explored. Yeah, there are river boats. Okay, any other comments, mm -hmm. questions? Again, I really appreciate uh, Faith doing this and uh, I learned some things and I think lots of us did especially for the for those of us yeah. that live in Oregon. So yes. do I have any volunteers Thank for next month's you, lesson? <laughs> you can't, you know, what a volunteer organization. <laughs> okay, well, I'll work on that one. I have a couple ideas myself. So thank you very much. Thanks, Faye. Thank Goodbye. you, Faye. It was nice to do Thank this. you, Faye. That's your first Outside experience. My thoughts. That's your first experience as an <laughs> FCE board member to be doing presentations. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the next one with Emily was not going to be so bad. <laughs> no, you'll be just fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one of our new national board members. No, Emily's right there. She's a new national board member. She's in Tennessee. Oh, okay. And that's our national president right Bye -bye. there. That's ours. Oh, hi, Arden. Hi. Oh, it was Linda. She's also a new national board member. She's from Mississippi. Yeah. And Wanda Bradell was oh, okay.